here we are solving a problem related to the futures price and we want to find out if there is any uh, arbitrage opportunity available okay by the way it's not futures it's a forward let's see what is the problem the problem says that the current spot price for copper is 325 dollar per ton and the insurance cost and the storage cost is dollar two per ton per month here they have mentioned it is payable at the end of the month please note that in the examination if they don't mention this payable at the end of the month you have to assume that at the end of the month sometimes they mention that it is payable at the beginning of the month okay a dealer has quoted 336.8 as the price of three month forward and they have given the risk free rate as three percent per annum your job is to find out if there is any arbitrage opportunity if there is then how do you exploit that okay so in this kind of problem first work that we have to do is we have to find out what should be the no arbitrage forward price so first we need to compute this no arbitrage forward price and then we can find out if there is any arbitrage opportunity now if you see i would say that you should first draw the timeline to understand the problem so the spot price over here is 325 and at the first so this is your t equal to 0 here you are paying dollar 2 here you are paying dollar 2 which is t equal to first month here you are paying dollar 2 which is t equal to two months and t equal to three months is this now what we are interested in we are interested in computation of the forward price which is so here you will find out the forward price but that means you will be selling or buying the commodity over here right here please note that as of now we are over here okay so we need to compute this no arbitrage forward price so how do we compute this no arbitrage forward price we have to bring this 325 at the end this two dollar at the end this two and this two dollar at the end so we can say that the forward price will be equal to this dollar 325 e to the power of rt that is whatever the risk free rate into the time so we are bringing this 325 over here okay and then we should add dollar 2 e to the power of r t1 let's say this is the time period which you is t1 then you have to add dollar two e to the power r t two, and then dollar two e to the power r t three. So what we are computing is we are computing the forward price, the future value of this cost. So forward price is given as your spot price e to the power r t plus future value of the cost. So this is what is our future value of cost, and this is the s not e to the power r t. So we can put these values in the calculator and we can compute a easier way to solve using the calculator would be to do this computation 325 plus three sorry 325 what you will find is this is also t1 so what we'll do is 325 plus dollar 2 e to the power r where r is given to you as three percent per annum so 0 0.03 and you know this from here to here it is three months so it will be three by 12 plus you will compute dollar two you will take common dollar two over here and you will compute e to the power 0 0.03 which is the risk free rate into two by 12 plus e to the power 0 0.03 into one by 12 so this is what your calculation would require so essentially you are computing this value and this value this value so what will uh, help us over here at this point of time is if we can store a common value in the calculator so the common value comes over here is this e to the power 0 0.03 by 12 so let's see what we'll do is we'll store this common value in the calculator so it will be 0 0.03 divided by 12 okay this is the common value and what you can do is you can compute the power of that so second ln so this is the value of e to the power 0 0.03 by 12 i will store this okay so what i have done over here is i have stored the value of 0 0.03 by 12 and let's say this is x right so what we are interested in computation of this computation is 327 okay 327 and this is x so you are computing 327 x cube plus dollar 2 
this is already e to the power 0 0.03 by 12 is computed so you are computing x square plus x so this is how simple your calculation has become so what we are doing is this is already have computed x what i'll do is i'll compute y to the power x 3 so this is my x cube into i'll multiply with 3 to 7 so this will give me 329 so what i'll do is i'll store this in 9 okay so you're in the 9 you have stored value of 329.4617 now here just i am writing for your reference you'll find that this is not required right so you'll recall one because in one you have stored the value of x we'll square it and then we will add one on that so this is the value of x square plus x i will multiply with 2 over here this will give me the value of this item so, so what i have got is the value of this over here right and then what is required is plus recall 9 so 333.4768 so you have got the forward price as 300 33.4768 so you have seen that how simple this computation can be if you follow the appropriate tools in the calculator you you have to use your calculator storage function you have to exploit them uh, very efficiently okay now this is the value 333.4768 the dealer is selling the forward at 334 36.8 so that means definitely there is a arbitrage opportunity and we should exploit that arbitrage opportunity so what you find is it is uh, the dealer price is 336.8 so what you find dealer is selling it expensive okay so you should sell so whenever you have the arbitrage opportunity sell high and buy low so what we'll do is we'll sell this forward so the step that you have to do is this is called as cash and carry arbitrage so sell forward buy spot but for buying this spot you have to borrow so what we'll do is we'll say that you will borrow the spot price whatever the spot rate or uh, whatever this value is 325 dollar you will borrow buy spot and you have sold the forward so this is the transaction that you will do at t equal to 0 okay and at expiry at expiry of the forward contract what you will do is you will sell the spot or here copper at 336.8 because this was the agreed on price okay so whatever the money you will get from there you will pay to whom pay to the lender okay please note that here you will not borrow 325 you will borrow slightly more than that because we have to also pay the cost related to the storage cost and insurance so i'll borrow exactly i'll if you say i will borrow slightly more than this to compensate for the present value so present value of the storage cost so 325 plus present value of storage cost plus insurance is the amount i should borrow okay then i at the end i will pay the amount that is due to the lender okay so sell the spot this paid the amount to the lender and you will earn the profit the profit that you are earning will be the difference between these two so your profit will be 3.52 oh, sorry 3.3232 so this is the money that you will earn for your spot so here we are uh, for the transaction here we are assuming that the forward contract is based on one ton okay but that would be given to you in the examination and also if it is not given you can compute from the options okay so here what we have learned is or uh, the trick and we have also learned how to compute the forward price we have seen that if there is any arbitrage opportunity or not and how to exploit that arbitrage opportunity